Hey, to center up more. Hey, look at that. We're live. It's Wednesday. It's 8 o'clock in the East Coast. It's 7 o'clock here in uh, Texas because I'm in Texas right now. Um, yeah, so anyhow, uh, that means it's time for this week of Gear Report, which happened 70 weeks in a row until last week. Until last week. <laughs> until last week. Yeah, I was uh, I was out of the North Carolina coast uh, with my Sea Scouts. They had their annual um, summer camp, they called long cruise and uh you know since i'm the adult in charge of that unit i kind of have to be there when they do something like that so uh so i was camping in one of my portable castles last week if you follow us on any of the social media channels then you saw the hdt base x tent the 303 variety set up in a used sailboat boat yard and that's where i lived for the week last week and it was kind of awesome uh we, we did a lot of cool stuff. We'll, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later because uh, it's a really neat program, and we did some cool I stuff. And I feel bad that I wasn't there, but I was in the Keys, everybody. Sorry. I know. Sucks to be me. Yeah, well, you were in the Keys, and you did some cool stuff. I, I was watching your social media feed and uh, and Crystal's. Um, yeah. I feel like I have to, or she'll, she'll like be mad at me. So I, so I watch her stuff, too. And um, it looked like y'all did some pretty cool stuff. And uh, she threatened me when I had suggested. Look at that. I got taller. Maybe Damn, I got too tall. Me. All right. Let me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so, so anyhow, that, that, that ended the streak. At, uh, we were approaching a year and a half there uh, yeah. of every week we had this week at Gear Report. And then it ended. So I, I promised myself. To make up for that, we're gonna have an extra good show the next week, and then, <laughs> and then I realized, and then I realized that uh, this show happens uh, a few hours after I get off the airplane in Houston, and uh, just just barely got into and settled in the hotel. So we're still gonna make it a good show. We're we're gonna have some good things to talk we, about. We try. How is it in Houston? Uh, it's hot and humid, so and that. It, it well, kinda, yeah. I mean, there's no beach right here, but uh, we may end up down at uh, was it Galveston or something that's out on the water? What yeah. it's near here? Yeah, we may end up out there. I I sent Clover a note earlier. Uh, we were driving down the highway and I saw a Whataburger on the side, and it reminded me of the story that Clover told about. I mean, you remember how indignant he was a few months ago when he was going to the. Um, uh, what what was the show he was going to at the uh, the Watermakers. at at no it was at, it was at the uh, Talladega Alabama oh, shooting yeah, yeah. park uh, that is uh, like the big CMP facility the shooting competition yeah and it was uh, it was the Poma the Professional Poma, Outdoor yeah. Media Association yeah. event those guys and. Uh, and he had a bad experience with a Whataburger that was not up to Texas standards, apparently. I keep getting a low bandwidth warning. You are, you look like a robot right, right now, dude. And there goes Jeff. He's a robot right now. It's a pretty good pose. I wish you'd save that. If I knew how, I would do that right now. That would be his picture forever. So anyways, I guess we'll wait on Jeff to get some more bandwidth over there. Bella needs to stop getting, she needs to get off her phone and stuff. Hey, I see you again. Hey, what's up, buddy? But you're not moving. I'm not moving. You're not moving. You look, you've looked the same for 20 seconds now. All right, let me see if it'll settle in here. I, I don't know if there's anything I can do on my end. Um, oh, you're moving again. There he is. I see you. Yeah, if you can move like a turtle from now on, I think that would help. Yeah. So, um, anyhow, <laughs> that's going to be one of those shows, I guess. I keep getting that low bandwidth uh, warning 
And since I am running on hotel Wi-Fi, I'm kind of thirsty. Uh, whether it works or not, we shall see. Uh, you may have to step in and take over at some point because uh, because the internet may not cooperate for me. But um, so the things to talk about now. Um, why don't Why don't you talk about some of the cool outdoor stuff you did uh, while you were on your little vacation? I mean, I saw some. Uh, some fishing stuff it looked like and yeah we did um so yeah we we're in we we're in key largo and we ended up uh we we're staying at our, our friends ours uh timeshare which is awesome mm -hmm. and uh so we went uh we went trolling for a couple days got nothing trolling no dolphin jumps jumps one dolphin and uh there was no schoolies with him or anything like that and then we ended up going to um snorkeling and there's this big statue of jesus placed in a, in a, in a reef down there and you can snorkel. It's only like 20 feet deep and you can uh, snorkel down there. That's one of the pictures. That's me having a beer with Jesus. And, uh, so we did that and then, uh, yeah, just hit, you know, cruise around the keys, you know, hit some, hit some, uh, little, little local restaurants and bars and bars and some more bars. And that was, uh, that was pretty much, pretty much about it. Fish. Right. Fishing, man. I really wanted. I really wanted to have some some mahi in the in the cooler or some mangrove snappers or something, but yellowtails. Right. Yep. Nothing, man. But it was our twenty sixth year anniversary. Wow, so, that's a minor miracle. I know, especially I mean, who, who could put up a who could put up a me for that? <laughs> Dear Lord. Jesus oh my Saint, goodness. Saint yeah. Crystal. Saint Crystal. <laughs> Of Florida, yeah, yes, yeah. So, uh, so that, that sounds like a pretty cool trip. And it was, uh, it was hot and very hot. Oh, I days. bet, I bet, I bet. So, where where I was out on the coast uh, camping, we we actually used a fair amount of camping gear, some new stuff. Uh, so, I've got some things I can write about and get some content out here shortly. Did some sailing on a couple different types of boats I'd never sailed. Before. Well, I guess I only sailed one type that I had never sailed before, uh, but it was really cool and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, usually I don't like little mono hull sailboats, they bore me to death. But this one, it's a little race boat and it was very responsive and it wasn't very fast, but at least it didn't feel like it was plowing water. I had a great time on it. The scouts had a good time. And uh, we spent a day with the Coast Guard and went out on one of their boats, a, f a little 55 foot boat that they took us out on. And they Whoa. went out a mile. They, they went out about a mile. And then they turned around and said, okay, who wants to drive? And they let, uh, there, there were five of us, and they would let every one of us drive. Uh, my son opted not to. He said he was exhausted, he was up too late. Um, He's been working at scout camp all summer and they don't sleep enough there. So he, he said he, he didn't feel comfortable doing it. And then, um, I've driven big boats before. So, uh, I'm the wheel. Um, I kind of wish I'd have done it. I'd have hammered down. They're like, this is, Oh yeah. Boom. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I mean, seriously, I think you have a pretty good argument to say who's going to stop us. You know, this is a Coast Guard boat. Who are you going to call? They're going to call the Coast Guard. Like, yeah, oh, we, they, we can do whatever we want. Did they, have yeah. the, uh, did they have the 50 cal on the front? No. Oh. No, so so this the, the reason we go to this one um, is a couple years ago when the scouts went, and I didn't go on this trip, and they arranged to go out with the Coast Guard. They attempted to, to talk to the local rescue station, and... Um, they were not really receptive to doing a tour or anything. Yo, yo, yo to you too, Flying Rich. Good to see you. Yo, yo, yo. Um, yo. I won yo to Oh, wow. I, won I see your yo, 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 and I raise you a yo. <laughs> yeah. So um, so, so the rescue station, they're pretty popular. They, they get tourists coming through all the time wanting to do tours. They didn't really want anything. They didn't have time to deal with the scouts. So they reached out to the aids to navigation station. So they're the people that maintained the buoys and the lights that the red and green lights you see at night and the signs for channel markers and that kind of thing. And apparently 
none of the people at that station had ever seen a visitor actually want to stop and talk to them before. So when the scouts stopped by, it made not just their day, but like their year. Oh, yeah. um, we, they, they had had a pretty thorough changeover from two years ago to this summer. Uh, we were going to go last year, but COVID kind of nixed that, which was funny because the, you know, the, the other adult, uh, answered well you know we didn't do the summer trip last year because of COVID, and they laughed and said well we were still here we just still had you um but but they were actually upset that we hadn't come since two summers prior and uh, they were really looking forward to getting the scouts out so so the boat it was not one of the fast boats it's 55 foot and it's got a big crane on the back and they use it for lifting and lowering the the buoys and things out of the water um as they're maintaining a very large section of the eastern seaboard coastline, all the navigation markers and buoys and things on they're the pretty, they're pretty important on the sound side. Yeah, uh, really, really cool operation. They were thrilled that we were there. We were thrilled to go out with them, um, and then we left there and went to a custom boat builder, um, Blackwell yachts and saw them working on some 70 80 90 foot yachts um which was funny i just walked in and said hey i'm a sea scout leader i've got a, a suv full of scouts you know it's not too many like just five of us uh would you mind we, we just spent the morning with the coast guard we ended a little earlier than we thought we would we got a few minutes to spare i see you got some boats in here would you mind just talking to them about how you build them and he said, uh, yeah, go get them. And the owner of the company gave us a tour. We walked, climbed in, on, around the boats that they're building. And then he had a his own private uh, custom-made trimaran docked out behind the building. He went out and gave us a tour of that. Uh, it was absolutely oh, nice. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So we did that. We were staying at my friend Bill's boat yard. Uh, he, he does a bunch of used boat sales for little sailboats. And he let us use almost anything we wanted out of his yard. So we got a every you know Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of last week we were getting little boats out, taking them out so the scouts could sail. And they made great progress learning how to sail different boats. Um, spent a little time at the beach. Um, I, I checked out a couple of guitar shops down there uh, on in the Outer Banks, of North Carolina. I ended up bringing one home. Like I, I really. Had no plans on getting one, but the deal was too good. It was like, yeah, well, you know, I can get it, play with it for a little while, sell it, make more money. Everyone's happy. Uh, but I do have a problem. I do. I sold a couple. I sold a couple to finance this trip that I'm on. And um, and I've been working like crazy since like the past few days getting uh, – everything I need, pictures and background, you know, specs and stats and experience with each of them so that I can work on reviews this week uh, while I'm out here in Texas. Nice. You know, you have a busy week between, between swimming and... So, uh, so guitar stuff. Gu yeah, yeah. So, so I'm actually out here. For those who don't know, it's the, uh, the Junior Olympics are being hosted in Houston. And my youngest Nash is competing again this year. What? The the, what do they call the it? The Junior Olympics. <coughs> that's what the yeah. billboards say. Yeah, the nationals. Though. That's the that's the like the championship. That's the big one. It is. It, it's it's kind of a big one. Yeah. So last it's, year, it's, it's last a, year it was twenty five. Well, and what's what's really cool is last year it was twenty five minutes from you and in Cocoa Beach, Florida. <laughs> So we so we went to that, and then this year, obviously, we had to make the trip to Houston. That's that's logistically that's a lot more difficult and expensive, yeah. um, but it's a big meet. So you know, so we're doing it. And then I found out when I was looking stuff up that the next next year's meet, uh, the AAU Junior Olympic, um, is going to be held in Greensboro, which is you know twenty five minutes from home. So. <laughs> That oh, one, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Should should we still? Uh, yeah, Killing did it. He we had to go to Michigan. Mm. It was at Eastern Eastern Michigan University, so we had to go up to Michigan, and we stayed at Dearborn, you know, a good wholesome place. And then, uh, wow, yeah, so they didn't then, want uh, people to come to it. Apparently, apparently not. But uh, <laughs> it was it was. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it was fun. He got. I think he got second. 
Mm. You know, which is which is you know pretty good. There was sixty kids jumping, so at wow. elevation. So he did, he did yeah. pretty good. Wow, that's that is pretty good. So hopefully awesome. Bella steps up her game. Yeah, yeah. I think I was looking through the I was looking through the results from last year, and I think uh, I think she was top five in a, in a couple different things last yeah. year. So we'll see. Um, We'll see where she ends up this year. I've been I've been pumped watching the Olympics every night. That's why I've been I've been up late every night, like watching the Olympics. Yeah, I yeah. get home, like I get home at I get home from ten o'clock last night working, and uh, I was like at home. Olympics are on. I stayed up to like one. I was like, oh, I gotta go to bed. Stupid Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I get pumped, yep. man. Watching the watching the swimming and watching the all the stuff that I don't get to normally watch. I'm like, this is awesome. Right. So, what's the most bizarre Olympic sport that you have seen that you're like, wait a second, this is an Olympic sport? Handball. I was, yeah. I, I was I was at I was at Long Doggers and they had hand. I was like, "What is this sport?" And it was a the one side. the one that looks kind of like it's it's oversized across. basketball court. It's an oversized basketball court with a mini soccer goal. Right. You, you take a ball. There's no dribbling. There's no, you can take a ball and run from one end to the other and throw it in the goal, and that's it. Or you can pass it and then they can throw it. And I was like. Oh my gosh! Where was so, this when I was a kid, I could rule at this as high as I could jump. I just jump over everybody and just boom. You know? Yeah, like, what yeah. Is this? Right. It's crazy. So it was. Um, yeah, I mean, it looked like water polo without the water, basically. Mm -hmm. And and the much. people playing, I don't want to say they didn't look like athletes, but they looked more like you know normal people. I think I think they were the uh, failed rugby people. Yeah, who could, could, could be? Too, Hard to say. For, I'm too skinny for rugby. Oh, handball? Perfect. Let's go. We got mm. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, watched the, I watched the rugby, and those guys were manimals. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Look, 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 look at a bunch of Jeremy's running around the field. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. Well, you know, it's a, you know, it's a intense sport when they have to tape their ears to their head so they won't be ripped off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We don't have anything that was published. We have a couple things that are in the pending queue. One from TJ is the ETS magazine for Glocks. That's a quick review. Yep. Um, Elite Tactical Systems, I believe is what yep. ETS stands for. Those are the yep. kind of clear acrylic looking uh, mags. Yeah. I've got a few of them. They've, they've done nothing but good for me. So. Yeah, I broke one, but I'm going to send it in and get a replacement. They said lifetime guarantee. We'll see how that goes. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. You broke it in the name of being thorough in your reviewing, I'm sure. <laughs> no, well, I, I it said it was an eight-foot drop, so I dropped it from the ceiling empty like five times, did fine. Uh -huh. I was, I had I had two of them. I loaded one up, and it freaking fell off and broke, and I was like, so oh, yeah. I was like, okay. So loaded eight-foot or loaded like loaded four-foot. If it hits wrong, no. The base mm. will fly off, and everything will just explode. Who's he talking to? Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you, because okay. you shave. Look at you. Hey, Ruben. Oh, yeah. All young looking. Look at you. I'm the. I'm the oh my the goodness! Don't even. <laughs> yeah, I got the hat and the headset on, so you can't see all the gray on the sides and the nothing on the top. So. Mine's right. Mine's right here. That's all my gray. Mm. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that was nice. Good to see you, Ruben. Yeah, um. Yeah. So. <laughs> So let's see. And you've you've got uh, AJ's got the the um, all right. Let me go to it. Target Hound from High Score. It's a uh, long range target stand. Okay. Uh, he's got that pending. So hopefully in the next day or so I'll have time to do some quick editing on those. Get those posted. I know you got a bunch of things in the queue. Um, yeah, dude, dude. <laughs> Mike uh, Mike Seminoff called me two days ago. I think. Hey man, just checking in. Hadn't talked in a while, and uh, and you know also wanted to check in on the Fab Defense stuff. So and I said, okay. you know, TJ's got a bunch of stuff in the queue, and I I logged in and looked at it, and um, it's close. I, I built that. Well, I had that. Uh, I built that seven six two by three nine AR, and I got the oh nice. Uh, the grip on, I got the grip on it and the uh, the GL shock um, buttstock on it, and I you cool. know I built that one for that that review. So. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, and I told him that at that moment you were actually logged in and editing. So, 
Um, so he knows you're you're working on those, and I told him mine are sitting in a box beside my desk, and I've been out of town too much. And uh, next few next few weeks, I should be home more yeah, and able to get will, uh, one to those, those. Those will be done. I'm going. I'm going to the range this week. Um, I've got the 762. I've got some brass 762 that I'm allowed to shoot at the range at Frogbones, and then um, and those will be ready, and those will be done probably middle of next week. We'll be good there, and then uh, that'll be the the uh, the swivel grip and the uh, the G GL shock bloodstock, and then the um, the wraps defense one is all on the. I'm waiting on parts, and I'm building that one. That's going to be on a, a, a six five Creedmoor AR ten that I'm building. Cause why not, right? I can find the parts. That's what I do. I think Jeff froze. You guys are stuck listening to me. But yeah, yeah, the Fab Defense set is all kinds of stuff. So we're building things to uh, to accommodate to make sure they. Uh... Oh, whoa, it's just me now. To make, to make sure I can do a, a good review, so you guys have uh, pertinent information to uh, purchase or not purchase. But so far, it's quality stuff. Good to purchase. We'll find we'll find out. I've shot I've shot the seven six two a little bit. Um, the the, the GL shock helps. I mean, there's not, there's not a ton of kick to 762, but it, I mean, it helps just a little bit for rapid fire and stuff like that. I mean, you know, I've only got, I think I got 20 round mags and I shot 40 rounds. Oh, El Jefe's back. Yeah, we'll see oh, yeah. how this works. I dialed down the uh, resolution on my camera to see if it will use less bandwidth. You, you, you look like a TikTok video right now. Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Start singing, start singing and dancing and stuff. You'd be good to go. I was just, I was just telling the uh, all the people out there about the uh, the GL Shock uh, from Fat Defense that I've, 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 I've like mag dumped two twenty round mags, and that, that that stock actually it helps a little bit for rapid firing, definitely. But I'm gonna, but I'm gonna take okay, it off and throw, I'm taking it off and throwing it on a, um, a shotgun yeah. next. I got you. Are you getting there? And I got, I got plenty of this stuff. I don't know what Jeff's doing. He's okay. Sound. You better now. I think. I don't know. I uh, was just sitting here in the headset said uh power off and i'm like power off what do you mean power off no we're in the middle of the show you can't power off when we're in the middle of the show. Well, when you re when you reset everything everything has to restart unfortunately yeah so i had to go back to the bluetooth on the computer and reconnect it and then go into the settings in Streamyard and tell it to use the bluetooth headset and totally, totally it was not me. pretty yeah i leave i leave everything set yeah. up all the time that's where I'm yep. at. If somebody comes in and messes with something, I'm, there we go. I'm like, I'll just throw everything away and get new stuff. All wait right. For you to come, <laughs> wait for you to come back down to Florida and visit, and I'll have you set it all up. Yeah. Oh, that's a good plan, I suppose. And I just, yeah. um, ah, no, I didn't going to do it. I just uh, downgraded the camera resolution again to see if it'll take a little bit less bandwidth. See if I can get the light right. Uh, that's a little bit better, I think. Sure. Yeah. So you've got those Fab Defense things coming, uh, and yeah. you've got uh, you've got a Taurus or two, right? That uh, the, that are uh, working through your. Yeah, the Raging Hunter, uh, four fifty four Casol. I've already shot that. I shot two boxes of ammo through that. Mm -hmm. Love that thing. Um, I'm waiting on more. I got more coming, and then uh, so as soon as it gets here, I'll uh, I'll have that one going, and then uh, the TX22 competition, which I got that little right on red dot for it. Yeah, so, since I'm not bitter that you got that one. Yep. Right. I'll send it up to you. I, I I'll get a look at it at some point. It's okay. I got the so I've got the G3. What is it? The yeah. G3C, the compact. Toro, the uh, Taurus Optics Ready Option uh, model, I've got to get something to put on it 
and uh, and I've got an action defense PDX. Right on right, the right on red dot on sale at the at the frog bones, and I was like, how much? Yep. I was like, okay, let's get that. Yeah, yeah. So I have been traveling too much to deal with that stuff. So uh, now that uh, the travel schedule should be calming down, I'll get on those. Uh, and get, I, I have a couple of firearms reviews to knock out. I've got more guitar reviews than, than you guys want to see, probably, that I'll be working on for guitars probably. and equipment. Well, and, uh, and so that's something that completely got put on hold with all the travel and other stuff, like when I broke my foot and I wasn't wanting to walk up and down from the office on the third floor to the garage and back and forth. Humby stuff got put on hold. From but, the incidents. Uh, yeah, so in about two a week and a half or two weeks, I'm going I'm gonna knock some stuff out when I get home from this trip. And that'll probably take a week, week and a half, and then I'm gonna restart the Humvee projects. So there will be more Humvee content coming. I've got a bunch of camping uh content in the works, um, backpacking stuff, uh Philmont gear, backpacking gear, you know, total what's in the pack. Um gear rundowns, so that should be pretty cool. And uh, feedback from using a bunch of different items on uh, on other trips recently. So, so much, so much, so yeah. much stuff that it's, I just have people. to sit still long enough to do it. It's gonna be, I mean, there's gonna be flooding the interwebs yeah. with all, yeah. the, all the stuff coming out. I mean, cause I've got probably three or four that are ready. All I need is a little bit, a little bit more pictures, a little bit more editing and then those will be ready and then the uh the firearm stuff and I actually found the 6.5 yeah. prc for the savage one right article. that was a big deal and yeah frog bones I was, so i'm in there frog bones i'm like you know i was like hey i'm looking for that you know the optic for the the tx 22 uh competition and i was like uh you got any 6.5 prc coming in he goes yeah i got some in the back i was like dude i was like we're, why isn't it out front? He goes, oh, yeah, because those guys will buy every box we have up. Because like, apparently it's the competition long, long range shooters guys. So, so mm -hmm. I was like, all right. So I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a case of that. So I should be all right. Wow. I bought, wow. I bought it all up. Screw, screw everybody else. That's right. Everybody, I got 6.5 PRC. Yeah. Wow. And, so, uh, and an empty wallet now, probably. Because that sounds that's, a little that's spendy. Fun. Stone. Yeah, it was sixty sixty dollars a box. Yeah, but that that's how you roll. Well, I mean, Just, I oh, you have some? Yeah, I'll take it all. <laughs> yeah, nowadays that, I have been looking for PRC since I've got that rifle. Yeah, yeah. I, I got plenty. Cool. I got plenty of Creedmoor because it was Creedmoor the one I ordered, and then I got the PRC. Yeah. Either way, not picky. Yeah, I think I brought you some of that Creedmoor. So yeah, um, and then you it's can't even use it. No, 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 I'm building, I'm building yeah. the, uh, for, the, for that Fab Defense, the Raps uh, buttstock, I'm building a, uh, a AR-10 and 6.5 uh, Creedmoor. Oh, that's going to be awesome. That yeah. That's the, uh, like, the precision shooting stock, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah oh, that stuff. one's awesome. Yeah, so. yeah, people will, be, people will be pretty happy when you get that stuff published. That, yeah. That's going to be so neat. I'm just waiting on parts for that one. I can't really do too much until I get parts to put it together with, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Cool. At least people have parts now. It's just everything's coming around. Yeah. Well, I'm getting emails from Palmetto every day. They went for, you know, months and months where they barely emailed at all. And now well, I'm getting emails dagger, every day. Everybody's doing, everybody's doing a review on the daggers right now. I've seen probably five or six reviews on the dagger. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I'd love to get excited about it, but it's like a, a Gen 3 clock knockoff. And, yeah, watch Hanks. There, there are too uh, many Hanks, other Hanks companies. Got, they shot a ton of rounds through it, and I was like, that looks awfully familiar. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's neat. I'm like, glad they've done it. The price point is ridiculous. That's where it's, I think that's where it's going to, it's going to do well at. I mean, like 300 bucks, mm. 300 something bucks. It's like, you ought to go over to Hanks and shoot with him. I should. I need to get it. Well, I'll figure it out when I get the um, 
I'll shoot him an email because I've got the the six five PRC to shoot. I've got the four fifty four Casole, and he wants to shoot the um, that Diamondback five seven by two eight. He wants to shoot that the DBX five seven. Mm. So and I've got yeah, actually frog yeah, make a big of, trip out of it. Yeah, frog bones had a bunch of five seven by two eight, so I got a, I got a little bit more of that. Right, that's still that was still spendy. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'll All right. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, we've got so things we have coming up. You you have that to schedule when you want to get together with uh, Hank Strange and do that because um, you guys talked about a bunch of different options. Um, I have I told Eric um, Eric in eighty eight eighty eight that uh, I had to get through this trip before I could even think about going to Georgia. But uh, right. I, Honestly, if I go down, we may shoot a little bit because that's, you know, what he's most known for. Uh, but he really wants to spend some time with, because uh, he has a guitar channel as well, yeah. going through guitar stuff and then going out and doing some boating. He was stoked to hear that I did uh, some boating content. So he's like, oh, yeah, come on. We'll play with the guitars. We'll spend a week. We'll do guitars. We'll go fishing. It'll be awesome. And I, I don't fish, go. but I'd like to go out on boats. So. So maybe we can fit that in, but then I'm looking you know, at. I um, can set you up some fishing gear. So what are they? September or October first, for the first October, uh, like the, the early October first. Of first weekend of October. Okay, and then when is is so NRA is September, September. Then is that what I'm thinking? Okay, yeah. because we got an invitation to an event the day before the NRA I show, I and it was. I'm trying to figure out, you know, if so. It's so it's by the time this trip is over for me, we're we're at the first weekend in August. August, because you. And then I'm looking at a potential trip back here. So in in NRA in Houston. Yeah. So like I could be coming back here in a month, right? Stay there. And then to Georgia, and then to Georgia for the Iraq veteran event for the regularly scheduled IV 8888 range day. And then also to Georgia, if Eric and I can get together and spend some time, that may have to happen between his event and SHOT Show. Yeah. Uh, because I don't, I, I just don't see me making it before then. Well, it's a good thing um, you, have, you have, you know, November, December to do all that too. I mean, I don't know what good fishing is up there. I would assume. Oh, uh, that well, I got be, no idea. No idea. I, I fishing. I don't know. Um, but then, but then we're looking at so that gets us September, October. I want to say there was some event in November that that had popped on the calendar that I was like, I don't even know. Um, I think uh, Jeremy, Kim, and Jeremy have their uh, back the blue in Caldwell, uh, Caldwell County, North Carolina, coming up at some point in the fall, and. Gear Report was a sponsor of that event last year, and I need to at least uh, show my face there this year, if at all possible. So, um, you're, you're yeah, things things are the, getting all over the place. Things Jeff. are getting busy. Yeah, and I'm worn out on travel. I've got so can, I have so I mean, much content backed up that I haven't had time. Like the last five weeks, like three of those last five weeks, I've not had the internet. Like like two of them, I didn't even have. I had no electronics. Like I had a, right. a headlamp flashlight. That's the only thing <laughs> powered by a battery that I had. Um, so there was no getting online or nothing. And then uh, we did use some solar. Um, it's just not real effective out there. Um, but then last week, the internet connectivity was terrible, terrible, terrible. Like I took my laptop and hoped to get some stuff done, and the internet just wouldn't do anything for me so right. um so i the, i the have got go so through, much i gotta get done the things you do to to get content so i hear you everybody yep. thinks it's easy we got so much coming it's i, I just gotta get it done so it's gonna be all right gonna, interwebs are gonna be flooded gear report is gonna be like throwing out 20 reviews a week we're like oh my gosh we need to we need to all right, the peanut gallery's gotten awful quiet. We appreciate Flying Rich and Ruben saying hi. Um, I'm going to make it last call for questions and whatnot now because I have to go make dinner. Um, it's that time. So um, 
any comments, questions, feedback, things you want to hear about, uh, let us know in the comments. Now we're going to unwrap things up here shortly. So um, what, what else you got to talk about before we get off the, the broadcast? Yeah, nothing really. I'm just yeah, plowing through stuff, trying to, you know, getting all these reviews going. They're finally, finally all coming together. You know, they've been yeah. things drag on, waiting on parts, waiting on ammo, and finally everything's here. So it's like, you know, I got that, that upper from uh, Moriarty Arms for the 762. So that's nice. That, that came yeah. in. And so that's good. I got a, you know, I got the, the AR 10 lower from Arrow. And uh, so I got that. That's the only thing I have for that, that 6.5 Creedmoor build so far. Waiting on, cool. waiting on a barrel. You know, just it's waiting back to waiting on parts. What's up, Gary? Because Gary's here. Look at that. Where is everyone? What do you mean? We're here. I mean, who else do you need? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tough, tough crowd there, Mr. Yeah, Giz. I mean, it's it's going to be, uh, I think you're going to be, you're going to be stuck at the house editing for a long time here shortly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the backpacking gear video that I'm working on, I'm 20 minutes into it. I'm hoping that this turns out to be about a 40 minute video uh the last one that i did was two hours and 40 minutes and i split it into three videos and i said for this one ain't no way i am compressing it i'm still covering all the details but i mean i, th I think i think there's a certain there's a certain limit people will gonna watch like informational be, youtube videos and stuff like that you know at a You're roboting it up, sir. Lost your buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. He's back. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people watching. Thank you. Hotel Wi Fi. Screw everybody else. Don't they know we have gear report stuff to do? Are we back? We're back. We're back. Yeah. When uh, someone had come down, figured out how to get on Wi Fi, and they've impounded it now. That's what I'm going to do. Any video after. Yep. Oh. oh. It happens, though, man. I'm telling you. It, uh, every now and then you publish something, and then you get that that note from someone Dude, did you know this was in there? Or, or you watch no. it. And like, whoa, what is that? Yep. Oh crap! Because because <laughs> um, YouTube doesn't let you like YouTube doesn't let you easily substitute where you can just take down the bad one and replace it with the re-edited version. You got to like right. start from scratch, and that is such a pain. I mean, I remember, yeah, I hang in there, um, Gary. I remember doing the uh, one of the written articles, and I put I hit instead of save article, I put submit. And I was like, no. So then I had to go back. And uh, I had to do. I had to go edit, edit article, edit article, edit article. I was like, come on. Yeah. All right. Like, son of a well, baby. that's what I do at Gary's show, though. I watch him on on Sunday mornings. <laughs> oh, who puts the mag in backwards? I didn't even know you could do that. Does it fit? See, that shows you really how much I know fits. about. That'll show you what I know about ARs. I didn't think you could really put the mag in backwards um I'm gonna, I'm i guess gonna if the stand's holding the mag you just it's basically yeah. sitting on do it don't do it on camera you'll get us in trouble no, no, i'm not i want to wait the youtubes will be upset the youtubers okay. the youtube cool. youtube overlords will be upset the, oh yeah that's, yep. what, that's what i do at gary shows on sunday i listen and i sit here and edit videos <laughs> and edit edit all my <laughs> articles and stuff i'm like it was like oh, la, la, la. one day i'm gonna one day i'm gonna get on his show though if i have if i have nothing yeah. to do Oh, with a wooden mag insert. I see. Okay. Why, Gary? Gary, come on. You know I don't know all this fancy stuff. You got to keep it basic with me. It's, it's simple, simple man. Not all of us have fancy wooden stands with wooden mag inserts. All right. Some of like us a, are that basic. Like a, that sounds like a gun snob item right there. It yeah, does. A, it doesn't it. Oh, I have a a, a a knurled cherry wood stand with a a hickory uh -huh. stock. You're like, okay. Yeah, you know. yes, with the with the flamed quilted maple veneer, the nitrocellulose 
a yes. lacquer finish. I wipe it down with a baby diaper every day. <laughs> the guy who sent it to him caught that he had it backwards. Ouch. That's okay. <laughs> you know, on a good note, once your pride's taken a couple hits, it becomes a lot more resilient. You, know, you, you care less. You just, uh, like, eh, I don't know if the pride erodes or if it just gets more resilient. But either way, more, you don't lose sleep over it anymore. I guess it gets more resilient. You just, you just, you know, it's buffered. You're like, yeah, whatever. I've done that. I've done worse. Right. Yep. Cool. All right. So I think the summary for those who have shown up on the tail end of this show is uh, way too much travel, not enough stuff being published lately, but there's a whole bunch in the queue. A couple oh, pending so things will be published soon. A whole bunch that are almost done that will, the, the flow after the next, uh, give me about a week to wrap up this trip and get home and get settled again. And we're going to have a flood of content coming from Gear Report. So buckle up. It's about to get nasty. <laughs> and, you know, a good flow of content way. Yeah. Either either way, people. Yep. These these people, they're all you know, going for the ride. Ab about two. Yeah, about two in a week or two. Um, and and in the meantime, let us know if you have any uh, anything in particular you're looking to see. Uh, if you want to buy a portable castle, if you need Humvee parts, um, if you if you want to use guitar, I got a bunch of them. I need to get uh, the reviews done and sell them pretty soon. It, it's because. gonna there's gonna be so much going on. I I counted before I left. And I just sold a couple. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I think that mine, I, I think there are 19 in my office. And two, uh, two of them are Jose Juan. So that's good. Um, so, so I don't, you know, those aren't mine. But when you, when you get more guitars and you have guns, and that's when you get to realize that. Oh, I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're okay. You don't have a problem yet. But... No. No, not not even close. Okay. Um, We're okay but then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyhow, um, so so that's it for this show. I think let's go ahead and wrap it up Thanks. so I can make some dinner. And I, that go. two hours of sleep last night's kind of catching up with me. So I got to go get some rest so I can get that. So I can get my baby girl over so she can uh, swim the fifteen hundred tomorrow. That's crazy. I watched that, that. Is, I watched that. I watched that on the Olympics the other night. That's why right. I, I was like, hell yeah. Yep. Yep. So she that that's her, I think her only race tomorrow. And then uh, the rest of the time, she's got two or three races a day, different races. Ooh. So it's going to be a big week. You have, you have prelims and finals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, all right. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a big week. Lots, lots of, uh, Lots of going back and forth to the natatorium, the, the swimming competition swimming facility, and uh, probably sitting in the stands and seeing how uh, effectively I can dodge what I'm sure are going to be mask mandates. Um, I've, I've had a pretty good run you today. Think, yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. they're uh, maskies. Well, they are, and it's really amazing to me looking at Texas. You know, I know people in other parts of Texas that may not even own a mask, yeah. but it's here, everyone, it's like the COVID Karens are taken over. It's oh, the, yeah. the mask holes everywhere. And they're, trying, like, they're trying to redo. They're really people? Re Come on. They're trying to reinstate all the mask mandates. And our, our luckily our guy, <sighs> Santa's, my boy is like, hell no, we ain't doing that. So we have to move to Florida pretty soon. I think. Yeah. That, that's just all there is to it. It's, and, uh, it is great. Down so, there. So you, you heard the last show we did, I was in the office and I did a little uh, demo of, because uh, I've been learning to play guitar. I've got all these guitars, but I, can, I don't play them very well. But I showed you that I, I am getting some basic strumming patterns. There. And I can, I can play the basic rhythm and chord progressions, <coughs> excuse me, for the song oh. Wagon Wheel. And, and, and Wagon Wheel, I, I found that one of the later lines in the chorus talks about you know if i die in raleigh at least i'll die free and I, I found that it pisses me off because i'm like that ain't true anymore maybe 15 years ago when that song was written it was true but we've got a communist dictator running things in north carolina and, yep. and it's it's not really a free state anymore and that's depressing to me it is depressing yep 
It's but, depressing. I'm still waiting on my ukulele. Remember I was said, supposed to send you one. You said you check on Vine to see if they had a ukulele. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I would learn to play that thing for just for Snob. Because he's yeah. specifically asked. All right. I forgot. I'll be honest with you. Just I'm not going to blow smoke. I'm not going to blow smoke at you, brother. Oh, I forgot. I know you forgot. You got a lot going on right now. Yeah. You will and I whine about stuff, too. So, um, Let's see. Oh, here. defense screen. Yeah, you go ahead and put that up real quick. There you go. Guys and gals. All right. Can you see this? Yep. There we are. Uh, let me refresh it. We didn't get the typical yo 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 from Defense Dad. All right, I think I think you just you just put uh, too much on there, buddy. That's too much for your internet. Oh, there's oh. there's two of them. There you go. There's a blue one. Oh, red oh. sunburst wood. Yeah. It's got to be obnoxious. We, uh, you get doo doo brown. <laughs> so they showed a blue one. Blue isn't available, apparently. Like All right. And then the go, other red. one, the other one they had, uh, and that's just uh, like a rosewood color. Oh, I bet that's a nice looking one. Is Ooh, that one's kind of pricey. Yeah. Ooh. Which again, through the through the Amazon program, I uh, I just ha I have to pay the taxes on it, Ooh, but right. uh, they send the they send it for review. Red, red sunburst wood. I see enough wood color. Funny, color. funny that wood looks a little flesh colored. <laughs> I was like, I don't want it. Yeah. There you go. All right. Tell sexy Steve that a uh, a ukulele is on the way. Uh, I will be. He'll be excited. Yep. All right. There you go. Getting stuff done right here. There that's we how we make that's, things happen. That's all, for, that's all for snob, but he's not even here. Bastard. Sorry. Yeah. We learn learn to play that thing. Well, you better now since the uh, oh, since it's to. on the way. It should be oh, there. Uh, it should be. What's today's Wednesday? It should probably be there Friday or Saturday. We gives me something to do this weekend. Sit out yep. back in the, in the pool on my unicorn float. Don't ruin it because Wednesday uh, you have to give us a demo. Oh Jesus, That's, dude! How much time did you have to practice? <laughs> yeah, but I a, a guitar's got six strings. That's just a ukulele. Okay, all right, I'll figure it out. It's only four strings. All right, so. YouTube that take whatever right time take whatever take whatever time no, you need no I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll give you a demo Wednesday we'll figure it out awesome all right see that gives us something to look forward it may be, to it may right be there. horrible yeah it may, the, here everybody the horrible ukulele player TJ will be here next week demoing his bright red ukulele that I'm gonna put a bunch of stickers on yep we'll try this at home I am gonna try it at home Doing it. Yeah. Um, it is. There you go. You know, uh, but but at the end of the day, um, do good stories ever come from everything going right? No. No, they don't. No. No. Uh, I'm not saying this is going to end in a good story, they, but they come from, they one come way from or another, great, one way or another, stories. we're all going to win. Great stories come from booze and bad decisions. That's where it all comes from. I get the booze covered. Right. Eventually the bed. Right. <laughs> Who told you? I, I had no idea. No, I, I don't even know how that got up there. Jeremy. I believe I, I blame Jeremy. Yeah. Well, I think that's a safe bet. I, I generally tend to do that. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, we have Clark Kent in the house. Look at that. Now we got to start all over again. Yeah. Clark Kent. Yeah. So most people probably don't know his uh, secret identity. 
but uh, but we do. I do at least. I don't know if you remember. But uh, but anyhow, too bad the gun snob couldn't make it. But but he sent Kent Nelson in his place. It's all right. All right. Tell him I got the ukulele coming. It's on the list. All right. Good. Good to hear. All right. So um, I think I think we're gonna wrap it up. I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he he's infamous. Infamous. He's in. Yep. And famous. That too. All, All right. right. Yeah, I think so too. We got a lot, lot of stuff coming. So, oh next my goodness, weeks, they're going to be they're going to be epically long. This week at Gear Report episodes. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. Except next week will probably won't be too much because I'll be too busy I got, like, traveling. The, I'll have like three things in the queue by then. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We'll we'll have some snow, but it'll be awesome. Come back next week. We'll be here at eight o'clock Eastern next Wednesday. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel, only a different link because there'll be a different broadcast. You know how all this stuff works. We'll be back then. We'll have lots of awesome stuff to talk we will. about. TJ is going to have a, an explosion of content. He's going to explode content all over the screen. Everywhere. And if you want to see it, you're going to have to come back next week you're at 8 o'clock for this week at Gear Report. A moist towelette, at a least. A moist towelette you're going to need. Yep. <laughs> yep. Awesome. And I may even get some stuff published in the meantime as well. Uh, for for those of us who are still with us, how how long are we rolling here? 51 minutes. You have now squandered 51 and a half minutes of your life. You're never getting that back. But we do appreciate you spending it with us. Um, really. Seriously, we do. So yes. until next week. Where, where are we going to see them? I keep changing it up. Is it? Are we at the range? We're going to be at the range. All right. Until next week. See you at the Where range. is it? There it is. We'll see there you is. at the range.